Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things hath done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit we pause now to ask god's mercy <clears throat> Lord, hear your repentant children as we call out to you. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and desires of those who entreat you, Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer dares not ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in other words, for this is right. On your father and mother, this is the first commandment which they promise, so that it may go well with you, and that you may have a long life on earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up with the training and instructions of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to your human masters, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart, as to Christ, not only when being watched as carrying favor, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart willingly serving the Lord and not men, knowing that each will be requited from the Lord for whatever good he does, whether he is slave or free. Masters, act in the same way towards them and stop bullying. Know that both they and you have a master in heaven and that with him there is no partiality. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord, Lord is faithful in all his words. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is faithful in all his words, making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words, and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling, and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is faithful in all his works. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to possess to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus passed through the towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, Strive to enter the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has risen and locked the door, then will you stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, We ate and drank in your company, and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers. And there will be wailing and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob 
and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from the east and the west and from the north and the south, and will recline at table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> there is, by Jesus' accounting here, there is no salvation by association. It's not because somehow or other you were associated in some way with the Lord or that, that somehow or other you came into his presence from time to time, but whether your hearts and your lives have been changed, whether conversion has taken place in your soul, in your mind, in your heart. So Jesus bids everyone to not just expect that they are just going to be saved simply because maybe they went to church when they were a kid or some other way in which we claim our association to him, but that we are true followers who have changed our lives and who are proclaiming the kingdom <clears throat> by our actions. May we all continue to be true believers and to follow the Lord sincerely in our lives. Let us stand to pray. Trusting in the Lord's love and concern for us, we offer him these prayers. For leaders in the church, may the Lord continue to bless them with vitality and health and help them grow in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of leadership in the judicial system, may the Holy Spirit guide their hearts as they balance justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer oppression for their belief in Christ, May God protect and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may God hear and answer our prayers for eyes to see and ears to hear those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in the joy of God's heavenly kingdom, most especially for Betty Guthrie, may remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. But what else shall we pray? Lord God, you show your compassion and love to all who turn to you. Hear these prayers from your children through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes, yes, God. God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless Bless God. God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously can complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. His death we celebrate with love, his resurrection we confess with living faith. 
and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, <clears throat> giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially Betty, remember this day. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence, we pray now as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Yes, 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 yes. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into him whom we consume, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We'll see in the second verse of number 195. Oh, may this gracious God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. Preserve us in his grace, and guide us in distress, and free us from all sin, till heaven we possess. Have a good day, all.